Hi to you both. Um, I'm Jason Anderson from uh, Pro Soccer Wire and USA Today. Um, uh, congratulations, I guess, first of all. Um, how has this been for you? It's been only it, it's less than a week. It feels like maybe two months to me, but um, how has it been since the draft? Has it really sunk in for you yet that, um, you know, things have, have probably quite radically changed in your lives, I would imagine? Um, yeah, it has been quite the whirlwind of events. It's been really crazy. I don't think it has sunk in for me yet. And um, I don't know if it will until I maybe get to DC. So I'm I'm kind of riding the the high wave of getting drafted right now. I'm pretty excited, but I don't know that the reality of me leaving Utah has really sunk in. Yeah, it's kind of going off. Can you guys hear me? Yep. Okay, yeah, going off what Courtney said, I think I'm just still just the excitement and all the emotions are still there. I don't think it'll really sink in until um, we all get there, meet each other and just um, getting acclimated to the new environment. But it's definitely exciting um, thinking about starting a new journey and just a new chapter in our lives. Uh, kind of along those lines, um, how have things been with the spirit in terms of getting prepared for the preseason, getting prepared to um, try and settle into a new place and, and all of all of everything that's about to happen for you? In my experience, they've been incredibly organized, and I've really appreciated um, how they've the, how they've contacted us and um, sent us a lot of the things that we'll be needing. Like they've been very upfront about um, getting us there to market and our travel plans and where we'll be staying. They've offered to answer any questions. Like they've been very very professional, which has been nice, and I think it's alleviated some of the anxiety that maybe us draftees are feeling because people are so upfront, which which has been nice. Mm -hmm. Yes, I can definitely tell it's, um, I mean, a world-class organization. It's been nice, too. A lot of the current players have reached out and just been super welcoming. So, like Courtney said, it's alleviated a lot of anxiety and kind of uncertainty. Um, and just having some of your new teammates reach out has been really helpful as well. Hi, congratulations, Patty, Women's World Football Show. Um, my first question is for both of you. Um, as uh, two people who have experienced the college draft, there's not a lot of people who can say that. I was wondering what that experience was like for you on a whole, and especially as the night started to get a little later and um, some of your mindset, your mindset. Yeah, um, I, I would say it was a bit different for me. I wasn't actually um, at the draft, but it was awesome just being at home with friends and family. Um, it's definitely a night that I won't forget just hearing your name being called. I mean, whether you're there or not, it's still very special. And Having my family there who have supported me along my whole journey was incredible. And um, obviously with me, I suffered an injury late in my college season. So it was very uncertain for me whether I was gonna be drafted or not. Um, and just hearing my name, it was very exciting and the nerves were there, but it was an awesome experience. I also wasn't at the draft. I was at home watching with my parents and my brother and my husband. And it was, it was, like a really awesome night. I really uh, look back on it with a lot of fondness because it is it is exciting to hear your name called. Um, I felt like a ton of support from the people around me. And as soon as my name was called, I think my flow my phone like blew up. I mean, everybody's texting you and and um, it really was a special moment. So I enjoyed it. Can I ask you a real quick follow up, Courtney, um, as someone who's lived and played in Utah your whole life. Um, have you thought about what that experience is going to be like if you get the opportunity to be on the spirit and play in Utah? And also what it means to the community to have soccer back, uh, professional women's soccer back in Utah as well? Yeah, I mean, the Royals have been all the talk here, like all season long. All my friends are talking about it. You know, it's, it's really cool to have them back here. And it's really exciting. Um, if I get to play with the spirit and come back and play here, that would be a really special moment for me. And um, I'm sure lots of my friends and family would love to come out. So it would be kind of an awesome, almost full circle moment for me if I get to come back and play here. Hey guys, I'm Ella from the Washington Post. Congratulations um, on an exciting week. And I guess a question for you both is, what is it, you know, in your initial conversations in the past week or just your overall impressions of the spirit with some of the, you know, off-season hires that they've made? What is it about uh, this club that intrigues you from a style of play perspective, from a style, like on on field perspective? Um, yeah, obviously, 
I mean, before being drafted, I didn't know much about the organization um, and doing some research. It's incredible to see all the staff members they're bringing in, uh, the head coach, the performance, the performance side of things, and even just seeing what Michelle Kang has done for the organization. Um, it's world class. It's very organized. Um, and I think they're investing so much into this club. And I'm just very lucky to be like a small part of this. I'm excited to see um, where the club is going to go. I think it's going in the right direction, obviously. And um, I think the new head coach, it seems like he has a record of winning at every level he's been a part of and just a strong commitment to winning, to excellence in winning. And I'm excited to grow as a player and person within the organization. I'm also really excited about everything Anna said. I mean, you just hear so many great things about the Washington Spirit organization. Um, I mean, I've been told it's, as far as an organization goes, some people have told me that in their opinion, it's the most organized in the league, which is so awesome. And I really think a lot of that comes from um, the leadership within the organization. I mean, I think people call it the King effect. The King effect is real, right? And it's it's pretty cool to see where um, her vision is and, and where she's taking the club and see the hires that she's made. Um, it will be really, really cool to have the Barcelona coach come. And I know he won't be joining until the end of his, end of his season, but that's it. Like, I really think that's a positive step forward for the club, which is exciting. Hi, Peyton Skeels. I'm with She Plays Inc. Um, Anna, you briefly mentioned um, your injury. I was just wondering how you're feeling. Um, I was really sorry to see you go down like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was a bummer for sure. Um, I'm very lucky I got through most of my last college season. Um, but I'm very optimistic, you know, with ACL injuries now. Um, you've seen a lot of the elite players in the world and in the country come back even stronger. So I'm very optimistic about a speedy recovery. Um, I'm excited to get down there and just work with their performance staff. Um, I've heard everyone on the team is just incredible. And I know I'm gonna have all the resources to be able to come back stronger. And, um, but yeah, I'm excited to get to work and finish my rehab down there and then hopefully be back on the field shortly. That's really awesome to hear. Um, and then Courtney, your uh, coach had mentioned that you played out of position all of last year and that he was happy to see that people could still see your quality through that and that you really stepped up for the team um, as well as being a three-time captain. I was wondering if you could just kind of speak to that experience um, and kind of growth over your last college season. Yeah, so I um, played attacking mid or left mid for most of my career, depending on what shape we were playing. But this last season, I picked up a deeper role um, we had some really unfortunate injuries happen during our preseason camp and early on um, in the season. And so I found myself playing in like a like a center back role and even an outside back role. And then by the time we got into Pac-12 play, I was playing the six. And that's where I ended up finishing the season. And it was quite the learning curve for me. And I think I have a new appreciation for those positions for sure. Um, I really enjoyed that time in those positions might be a little too deep for me. I feel like my skill set stays a little bit higher up on the field. Um, but I really felt like I had the right resources around me and between my coaches and my teammates to help me grow in those positions. And I'm, I'm excited to see what the spirit thinks about those. So. Thank you. Hello, I'm Andre Carlisle. I um, write for the District Press. And first of all, congratulations to you both. Um, I have a question about just coming to the D.C. area. Have you heard anything about it? Is there anything you're excited to do once you get here? <laughs> I personally have not been to D the D.C. area. Um, I've heard great things about it, though. Um, I know it's like the up and coming place. I mean, tons to do there. I'm just excited to kind of explore. Um, just see the historic parts of it and just meet everyone, just meet everyone in the city and see all the nice facilities there. Um, but I've heard great things about the city for sure. I've also heard great things. I've lived in Utah my entire life. So this will be kind of a big move for me, which I'm really excited about. And it's, I mean, it's across the country, which is exciting and a little nerve wracking, but I've heard great things. And surprisingly enough, I, I guess I know more people than what I thought in the DC area. So tons of people have been reaching out saying they live near. So that's been kind of a kind of a fun 
thing to learn as I've been drafted. So I'm excited to be there. Uh, and a, and a follow up question about the spirit, kind of the way the players on the team, especially this draft, the spirit drafted a lot of very young players, including yourself, but also the spirit have a lot of younger players. And what we're finding out is that in youth levels, a lot of you have played together. So what are some of the are there any players that are already on the team or that were drafted that you're already familiar with and have played with before? Um, I don't know if there's anyone on the team that I've played with. I've played um against a lot of the other or a lot of the other girls in our draft class and then I know there's three players on the current team who grew up in Cincinnati um and that's where I'm from I didn't play I know most of them are older than me so I didn't play with them but I'm excited to um kind of form relationships with them and get to play with them because it's pretty cool having four or five players from the same city um on a team but I think I think it's going to be fun just forming new bonds with these players, um, being competitors most of our youth career. Um, and it's cool to just come back and then be teammates. Oh, um, I don't think I played with anybody on the team, but I played against them in the pack. Um, what's funny is Ashley Hatch played at BYU and I grew up with my, my parents sending me to BYU camps every summer. And she was actually my camp coach one summer. And so it's kind of a fun moment for me to go and now be able to play with Ashley. So I'll ask her if she remembers me. I doubt she does, but it might be fun if she does. So <laughs> That's awesome. And thank you for sharing that. And I hope she does. Uh, and congrats <laughs> to you both. Thanks. Thank you.